YouTube. So today I'm doing just a quick video. I'm talking about this book right here, Mirage, that I got in my, was that the September Elk Crate? Yeah, I think it was September. Yeah, it was a September Elk Crate. And I just now finished it. Um, and basically I've, I know I haven't been making many videos where like I'm on the video. Um, just this past week, I'm moving in two days now. So it's just been so hectic as I'm sure most people understand these days. But, um, you know, uh, we're really excited for the move and I'm probably gonna be on, not on here a whole lot with this next week, but I have a ton of stuff planned for December videos. And so you will see a lot more of me next month. So the look that I have right now, this is uh, about two of the main characters, Maram, and Amaya are, they're not actually twins, but they look like twins. And um, that's what this this book is about. Um, Maram and Amaya look exactly like each other. And Maram is a um, princess. She is a, a princess from a very cruel empire. And um, on one of the um, nearby moons lives Amaya, whose family... Um, are you know dirt poor farmers um her parents lost all of their parents all of their siblings and most of their friends whenever their what whenever maram's empire took over well maram was not even born yet i don't think i don't think she was even born yet whenever it happened but her father king mathis is extremely cruel and so um amaya is kidnapped to take to be um, Maram's double whenever she goes out, whenever she needs to have public engagements because she is so hated and there are su there's such a big uprising among the lower classes that when Maram goes out, sh there are assassination attempts on her behalf. So um, uh, Amaya is basically her body double. She's kidnapped and she's the one who has to go out in public um, anytime that Maram is in danger so that, you know, basically kind of like secret service in a way like you know it's like you're you're supposed to basically be the one to take the fall for you know the royal royalty or politicians or whatever so that's what this book is about and i love it so much so it was considered a fantasy i think it's like filed under fantasy but i don't know that i would really consider it fantasy it's more like sci-fi a little bit but if you don't like sci-fi and fantasy you should probably still read this anyway it's like it's futuristic but it's not like nothing crazy you know like um there's not like mythological creatures or anything like that it kind of reminds me a little bit of star wars a little bit it's, um a lot of um middle eastern um you know influence in it um the 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 writer samaya dowd i i'm not exactly sure what her background is but I believe she said something like it's um, got a lot of Moroccan influence and I definitely picked up on a lot of Amazigh influence and um or like some people call Berbers or uh North African Gypsy uh sorry my baby's being so loud um influence and then it's just because that's what like I'm used to that's like what I what I um Ooh. recognized but um it Oh my gosh, her way of describing things was so amazing. I absolutely love her writing style. I'm definitely buying the next book. I believe it's called A Lion of Courts. Lion of the Court. Anyway, it's number two and it's coming out in uh, summer of 2019. I'm definitely going to be reading it because her writing style is amazing. And she also really drew me into this story. So um, spoiler alert. Um, Maram is, uh, engaged and it's just a political arrangement and arranged marriage to a guy named Idris. And I won't go too far into like his background or her background or anything like that. But, um, you know, their marriage is not being arranged for love. It's for political purposes as is so often in, in royal families. Um, and, uh, Amaya, the double, the body double, um, and I just fall in love and oh my gosh, my heart was just like beating so hard. Like the sexual tension with them, especially towards the end was just like so much. Like I found myself, I would be like reading and I would just be like, my eyes were so close to, <laughs> to the page, my face. I was just like buried in the book and I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, will they, won't they, will they, won't they? And my daughter walks in, I was like, what? <laughs> Cause I was just like so caught up in it. I was so caught up in it all. And it was just so well written. And if Samaya Dowd could, 
like please become a fashion designer i would love that the way that she described all the outfits and the jewelry oh my gosh i would buy probably everything if it didn't break the bank but um yes i absolutely adored this book i love it a lot and if you like politics you'll enjoy this if you like romance and sexual tension you'll like this and it's very very i mean it's got a touch of sci-fi in it i can really say it's fantasy it's got a touch of sci-fi because it is um futuristic because amaya lives on a, a moon like like marum lives on like the planet amaya lives on the moon which I think like all the poor people basically live on the moon. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's obviously very futuristic to be able to travel back and forth like that, such long distances. Um, so, I mean, yeah, a little bit futuristic, but they really, I mean, it's so barely like noticeable. Like you can just totally go around this book and forget completely that um, there's some people living on their moon and there's some people living on the planet. You know, it's easy to forget. Um, so, uh, it wasn't like too stressful. So not, I mean, like I love politics. A lot of people don't like politics because it's like, you know, it's intense, but this book does, I feel like it doesn't make it too intense, too intense. Although, I mean, there's scary parts in the book where, you know, it's just like, like, especially at the end, there's, there's some scary suspense, you know? Um, but honestly, it checks all the boxes for me. Like other than like, usually I like fantasy, um, books. And it just didn't have a whole lot of fantasy, but it was just like just the right amount of everything. And I really, really enjoyed it. I cannot wait for the sequel, actually. And I love the cover, too. Look how gorgeous that is. So Maya Dowd is so talented. This is the first time I ever read anything by her. I believe this is her first novel she's ever written. Um, and she's just so talented. So Maya Dowd, if you see this video, I just want to tell you, like, holy hell, good job. This was absolutely this is a wonderful piece of work and I cannot wait for the second book. Um, yeah, so um, I got this in the October, October, <laughs> October outgrade. I will put my, um, my referral code down in the, um, in the description box. If you guys are interested in December, it sounds like it's going to be a really good box. There's going to be a candle and there's going to be a, um, there's going to be a ornament, like a, like a tree ornament. And there's going to be a book, like, like a planner, you know, one of those planner books for, for 2019 and some other things. And the theme is, it's called the power of illusions. And, um, the items that are included are going to be inspired by the Lunar Chronicles, the Night Circus, Caraval. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. This might be the best, best box ever. Although this, the box that this one came in was really good too. It came with a Harry Potter mug. Like I'm telling you, Alcrate is where it's at. Um, it's about 30 bucks a month. Well, plus shipping. It's like 35 bucks a month, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't get it every month. I skip some months. If I feel like I skip November because I wasn't interested in it. And um, I'm really glad I did. So okay well that is the end of this book review thank you so much for watching if you like my videos please like and subscribe and ring my bell and i'll see you in the next one bye